Before the renovation, emergency room staff wasn't equipped to help all patients as soon as they came in. One thing we did not have was a resuscitation room that was dedicated for patients that are the highest acuity that need to have the, the greatest intervention, be it a trauma patient or a cardiac arrest. Arnott's administration wanted providers to have the ability to care for a wide variety of medical needs, but overhauling the department meant making adjustments to continue serving the community. We literally could only change very small items and then in the middle we would act to ask the construction folks to help us out because we're having a surge we need this done so that we can accommodate our additional um, patients and ongoing construction created some challenges realize that there's not a hallway shut down or a room shut down and we can fully staff the department and we can fully fill the department and care for our patients a trip to aomc's er no longer means dealing with the chaos of a construction zone there was noise uh, patients definitely aren't going to enjoy that kind of an experience and so we apologize for you know pardon our dust because we're making things better for the future and we're finally there now and uh, it's going to be a lot better not having to deal with some of those nuances. But working around and adapting to an ever-changing construction site wasn't in vain. Not only is it aesthetically uh, much more pleasing uh, but it is a, a more comfortable, more accessible, uh, safer, more efficient uh, design. The current layout was designed to avoid the need for another large-scale renovation. We realized that there were opportunities to uh, redesign it uh, in a way that would enable us to expand it more easily in the future uh, at, at a reduced cost. In the next video, we'll explain how the layout of Arnott's new ER is changing the patient experience, what to expect when you walk through the door, and how the medical staff can help you.